Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Tifu by seeing if my wife was cheating on me. This was spring 2019. My wife decided in her late twenties to return to university to get her master's degree. This unfortunately meant taking a couple semesters of classes on campus about three hours away from my home, so she had to get a small apartment and stay there during the week. At first, the distance away from each other was difficult for the both of us. We'd talk for at least an hour every night, and she couldn't wait to get home on the weekends. Then one evening she went out with some people from school and ended up drinking way too much, but said she had a good time nonetheless. She started going out more and more, and our conversations got shorter and shorter. Then she'd want to stay there the odd weekend due to too much homework but would end up going out with friends. She seemed to be more and more distant, was dressing differently, putting a lot more effort into her appearance, etc. I've always had issues with trust that kind of went away when we met, but they started coming back and were becoming really difficult to suppress. At a particularly low point for me, I hatched an ill-conceived plan to surprise her by going to visit unannounced on a Friday when she had said she was staying the weekend. I figured I'd get there before she was done with classes, hide in her apartment with flowers, and surprise her, best case. Worst case, I catch her cheating on me, or find condom wrappers or something and can follow through on every insecure guy's fantasy of kicking the guy's butt, or really telling their girlfriend slash wife off in the moment, or whatever. It hit me how ridiculous I was after about 20 minutes of hiding in her closet. WTF would any sane woman think of her husband hiding in their closet to surprise them? I was considering my options and thinking about just forgetting the whole thing ever happened and driving the three hours home when I heard keys in the door. Then playful giggling. Then kissing noises and moaning. I started getting angry, building myself up to go kick this guy's butt when into the room she walked with probably a 250 plus pound guy, built like a linebacker. I was frozen with a whole lot of emotions, the most intense of which being regret as I calculated every possible scenario involving me leaving that closet, none of which seemed the slightest bit favorable. So I stayed there. And I got to listen slash watch them get undressed, and witnessed my wife go to work on him, and tell him what she thought about him and his Johnson, then the ducking started, and didn't stop for at least an hour. Then they laid their pillow talking for a while before she started working on him again, and then another hour of ducking. Finally they left to go to dinner, and I got the duck out of there. I ended up confronting her, not admitting what had happened, but saying I'd come to her apartment to visit and heard them from the hallway. She admitted to that and others, and we split up. I've spent the past year dealing with it, but I'm just starting to realize the absurdity of the whole thing to the point I can kind of chuckle about it. That's ducking awful bro. I don't know how you kept yourself in that closet. Clearly the ducking wasn't that awful. On a serious note. That's a pretty shitty man. Kudos to you for not jumping out the closet and half killing him. I didn't read the whole thing but if the guy didn't know the girl had a BF then rationally op wouldn't have a reason to be mad at the guy. In fact if that's the case both guys should blame the girl for lying to them. This. When someone gets cheated on, people always blame the other person that the SO was cheating with rather than the SO themselves. Yup. It's easier to get mad at a stranger than someone you know sadly skeptical. Why do PPA always want to fight the person that your significant other is cheating with? It's all about the person that you chose to trust, that's where the anger should be directed. If I was up I honestly think I would open the closest, don't even look in their direction and walk right out the front door. I am so sorry op that you not only felt it in your gut you had to succumb to the fact that your wife was putting in work. She is a dirtbag through and through. Well you never know if Big Dude even knows that he even exists. His wife could just be running side play. And not even mentioning her husband. Next thing this guy knows he has some dude running out of the closet after him? 
always two sides to every story. I definitely agree, not even his fault, definitely shitty old lady. That is by far the worst Tifu I have ever read. My heart is racing after reading that. I'm so sorry man. I hope the best for you in your future. If it makes you feel better, I caught my ex-wife having an affair. Now, I am about to marry a woman who is 10x better in every way. Keep the hope, stranger. Thanks. Don't worry at all, I'm doing fine now. Glad we were able to part ways with a lot of life left to live. You didn't duck up buddy, just a really unfortunate thing happened to you. I'm sorry for your circumstance and I hope you're able to heal from it. Oh I think I ducked up. In hindsight, if I felt that I couldn't trust her to the point I needed to try and catch her in the act like that, then I really probably already knew enough to make a decision or at least press her harder on it. I can see why you think that. Because even if you'd overheard from the hallway you'd be thinking what if I misheard or what if it was someone else. But this isn't on you. You did what you needed to do to be clear in your mind. It's a god awful situation to be in, but it wasn't you that led you to that point. I hope you're doing better now. I suppose, I just probably could have avoided the front row seat. Thanks though. I'm doing much much better. Yeah you didn't duck up buddy. You sensed it early on and had suspicions. If anything I would have pressed more on your growing concerns. You're so becoming distant, especially since you're married, is a cause for concern. All of the signs you laid out were flags. If anything, you should have been more forward with your concerns, but that in itself is difficult. Was it the most sincere thing to do? No, but it was pretty understandable. I feel like in a sense, you truly did know and just wanted confirmation. Glad to hear you're doing much better, if you haven't gotten therapy for it, I would suggest it. I'd like to expand on that guy's point. Good people can do stupid, or even bad things because of people putting them in the wrong position. Her putting you in that situation is what caused you to act in an irrational way. You wouldn't have wanted to do something irrational if she wasn't so absolutely horrible. I've been in bad mindsets before too. I've done something wrong to someone to get answers too. I desperately needed those answers, and I'm not sorry for what I did, because it wasn't me that created the need. I was mistreated and my feelings were abused, what I did was merely protect myself. Same with you. Shitty people will be shitty people, we have to do our best to see that as soon as we can to avoid as much pain as possible. Clarification, the thing I'm referring to wasn't bad, just slightly invasive, and something I would never have done without a need. You didn't duck up. It's better that you found out even though it went probably the worst way possible. Long distance is hard because communicating becomes seduct and more difficult when you can't see each other. Hell, even communicating when you see each other a couple times a week can be hard, at least for me since I'm not good at texting and stuff. She ducked up and gave up by cheating and that's unforgivable in my books. Breaking up is hard but at least you have a chance to build something better now. Keep going man there are good things coming for you if you are open to it. No you're not wrong. Imagine you posted you didn't trust her on reddit. The hive mind would say you're insecure and you should learn to trust women, she's going to school to get a degree, not have sex with men you pervert. At least you got rid of that filthy trash. No, she could be innocent and you would have hurt her, you had to be sure, you have done nothing wrong, it's not like you took her phone to check, you stay in your wife apartment. Man, seriously, have you considered looking for professional help? I know you're joking now, but I can only imagine the trust issues you must have now and that definitely will be a problem in the near future when you're willing to pursue a new relationship. I'm pretty sure you had a damn rough time watching that and all the things that went through your head. My best wishes to you and I hope the healing has already begun. Have a good life. I would if I felt I needed to but honestly I am good. She cheated for her own reasons, not because of anything I did or didn't do. It was going to happen despite my best efforts. I know that it's always a possibility in any relationship, and now I know I can survive it.
We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 